If you uh, follow the sports literature any, you must have come across the comment that it's a neuromuscular pathway, or a neuromuscular pathway is involved in execution of the skill, or the skill is executed via a neuromuscular pathway. Now, what does this all mean? It's, we hear the term all the time, but very few people really understand uh, what it not only means, but what it implies. And this week it relates a little bit to specificity. But let's take a look more specifically to neuromuscular pathway. There are two terms here. Neuro, meaning the nervous system, and muscular, meaning the muscular system. So it's a combination of the nervous and muscular systems. So the nerves are involved by activating the muscle. So the type of nervous impulses coming in determines the type of activation of the muscle and the actions that it will perform. So this is the tie-in between the two. And this is really the basis of coordination. What is coordination? How the muscles integrate together with the nervous system. So when we say a person has good coordination, it means the body has the ability to activate the muscles in the right sequence and with the right timing and with the right intensity. Then we have all of these three things in place. We have good coordination. But it's the neuromuscular system or the neuromuscular pathway that's involved in determining this. Now when we take a look at a skill, let's say a skill is learned well. If it's learned well, it means that, let me even back up, why are you learning it? See, the brain is actively involved. Here's what I want the muscles to do. So the brain is telling the muscles what to do. So the brain sends down the signals out into the muscles that are going to be involved. And it tells them in a general pattern when to contract and how strongly to contract and the sequence of the contraction and so on. So the brain tells them this and then you do it. So as you do it, then the muscles give the brain feedback. They're telling the brain, this is what happened. I contracted this hard, this, and of course, they're not talking to one another, but you know, we have many proprioceptors in the muscle that tell the brain or the nervous system what occurred. It talks about what happened in, 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 in relation to the muscle fibers, what happened in the tendons, what happened in the ligaments, maybe. So, in other words, or in the joint. See, there are receptors all over to, to pick up the impulses of the changes that occur in the muscles and support structures, as well as in the joint. As this information is fed back, then the brain interprets it and will send another signal down with the corrections in terms of how, he want, how the body should be doing it to execute that skill. This is really the basis of learning. Learning is really developing the neuromuscular pathway involved in execution of that skill. Now, as it's being learned, instead of the brain being involved, it moves on down to the spinal column. And that's where it becomes automatic. So the limbs and body execute the action, and it's only stimulated via the nervous system coming from the spine. The brain is no longer involved. but the brain is still involved in terms of trying to override what's going on. So and this is where sometimes the mental aspects come in. If you start worrying too much or, hey, I'm not going to do it or this, or the other, you can interfere with this automatic neuromuscular system that you had developed. So that's where the, when it becomes automatic, it means the brain is not involved, but it can be to override and interfere. So we don't want the brain involvement anymore. Now it's automatic. You don't have to think about what you're doing. All you want to like, tell yourself, I gotta throw the ball, and the throw comes. So you throw the ball with no thinking. Or you kick the ball, or you hit the ball, whatever it might be. You execute the skill without any active thought processes taking place. But it's mainly due to the neuromuscular pathway that has been developed between the nerves and the muscles. Now they are set in a groove pattern. They're solidified. And you're not going to change it. 
This is why if you've been doing something one way all your life, then all of a sudden you have to change it. It, it is very, very difficult because you have to break the old neuromuscular pathway and establish a new neuromuscular pathway. Very difficult. But it can be done. That's the bottom line. And the younger, if you're going to make changes in technique, the younger you get the athlete to do it, the more effective and easier it is to make the changes. And the most effective years are between 9 and 12. You get older, it becomes much more difficult. Because now you're already going to have well-established neuromuscular pathways. But it's neuromuscular pathway that even has to be duplicated when we do specialized exercises. It is specialized exercises are based on duplicating the neuromuscular pathway involved in execution of the skill. That's the beauty of the specialized exercise. Or as Voroshansky called it, the dynamic correspondence exercise. In other words, it corresponds dynamically to what occurs in that skill execution. And this doesn't mean the total skill. It can be one joint action of that total skill. And once you can improve it, then you can incorporate it into the total skill. So we can do many things with these specialized exercises that duplicate the same neuromuscular pathway as needed in execution of that skill. So you can make changes in that one joint and incorporate it into the whole. So this is where some of these changes become relatively easy and effortless and even more effective. And how can we, we can even enhance the neuromuscular pathway you know, with some of these different exercises. So neuromuscular pathway plays a major role both in execution of the skill, in learning, in developing a set automatic uh, response for your skill technique and when it comes to specialized exercises to improve the skill technique by duplicating specific joint actions. So the neuromuscular pathway you can't escape it. It's involved all over, all the time. But use it to good advantage and we can make a better athlete. For more information on this, take a look at Build a Better Athlete. It has some great information dealing with this concept and the whole learning process.